In my last video, I covered Topaz Video AI, a program for AI upscaling video. In this one, we'll be looking at Video Proc Converter AI. This is a multimedia program allowing you to convert video, music, images, and it can be used to AI enhance media. Video Proc is much cheaper and even easier to use than Topaz while producing near identical results. Video Proc can be used for free with limitations, and you can see the limitations down here in this list. With the free version, you can only export up to five minutes of video. There is a premium subscription with one year of updates, which unlocks all the features. That's around 40 bucks. And there is a one-time, one PC lifetime premium license for 80 bucks. Often this program is on sale. The video proc is available for Windows and Mac. This program is slightly less demanding than other AI upscalers, but you do want to make sure you have a decent graphics card. The newer, more powerful, the better. CPU rendering is supported, but it is incredibly slow to the point of not being very practical. So here is what video proc looks like. Very easy to use, friendly user interface. We've got a few AI options here. We can use super resolution, which will upscale video, frame interpolation, which we can use to double frames from say 30 to 60 FPS, image AI, which we can use to AI enhance images, and audio AI, which we can use to remove background noise from audio. There's also steady AI, which we can use to stabilize the video. We're going to be looking at super resolution, frame interpolation, and steady AI. Let's look at super resolution first. Go ahead and click that, and it will detect the hardware. And we can go ahead and drag and drop some video footage in here. I've got a couple of sample videos. I'm going to start with this one, this mountain video, which is a small 1080p video footage. So we'll go ahead and upscale that. Inside the program, we have the original on the left and the AI enhanced version on the right. We can zoom in here with the mouse and move the preview around. If we click this button up here, we can go into split view, which we can use to use this line to see the before and after. So already, just by loading in that video, we can see what the original looks like. We can see how it will be enhanced with a video prop. What I like about this program is it shows you a preview instantly. And down here is where you can see all your sources. I've got another video here. I drag that in and now we can work on multiple videos. On the right here is where you can configure your AI settings. We can set our GPU. You want to make sure to just set to your discrete graphics card and not your CPU or integrated graphics. We've got the model type. Now video proc only comes with four models for the super resolution. Right here we have an option for high quality mode and fast mode. High quality mode will take longer to process but produce better results. Fast mode will be quicker to process but quality will not be as good as high quality. Notice whenever you change an option, it immediately loads in and updates the preview. Here we can set our resolution whether we want 2x, 3x, or 4x upscale. The higher you upscale, the longer it will take to render and the larger the file. You can also set resolution here, switch to standard 720, 1080, 2K, and 4K. If you don't want to scale the resolution and just want to enhance the video, you can just click on enhance image and this will upscale at 1x, but implement the AI models. If you have multiple sources down here, and you'd like to use the settings on all of them, you can hit this apply to all button. Your output options include exporting to H.264 and H.265. You can set the quality level for the encoder. I usually just keep this to high. Setting it to best doesn't really do anything except produce really large files and take forever to render. And what you can do is click on this timeline here to scrub through the video and get immediate previews you can also trim the video using these little green buttons here and that will only export this portion of video when you like all the changes you've made you can hit the run button and it will export all the videos one at a time let's check out these ai models what i'm going to do is zoom in here to this video so we can get a better look this first model gen detail is good for your realistic videos or videos captured on camera does a really good job of denoising compressed video. So again, here is what the original looks like. And when we upscale this with this model, things look a lot more detail. Real smooth is similar to Gen Detail, but focuses more on smoothing out. Let's see what that looks like. We can see here, that's real smooth. 
This model is really useful for skin smoothening and depending on the input, it may or may not be better than Gen Detail. Anime is good for animations. So here I have a video. This is an animated clip. And when we switch to anime, we'll see that VideoProc does a much better job at cleaning up compressed looking animations and makes it a lot clearer. Let's zoom in here and see. So this is what the original looks like. And boy, that's, that's nice. Here I've got another animation clip. Here's what it's going to look like when we upscale it using the anime. This is the original. And that is the upscale. This Zeke's model is good for cleaning up old footage or low quality video. I'll bring in this video from V Westlife again, which is a standard def video. So I have a still here. Let's see what it looks like with Zeke's. So this is the original. And this is with Zeke's supply. Now, doesn't look good in a steel frame, but when it's playing in motion, it definitely is a lot cleaned up. Next, let's look at frame interpolation. So we go to the main menu here and click on this button. We get a similar interface as super resolution. Except now I'm going to bring in a clip. This is a video that is 1080p at 24 FPS. With frame interpolation, we can go ahead and double the frame rate. We can do times two, times three, all the way up to times five. Keep in mind that the higher you increase this, the longer it'll take to render and the larger the file. Up here, where it says FPS, you can see what the resulting FPS will be. Since this is a 24 FPS video, when we double it, it'll be 48, or we can triple it and go to 72 FPS. Now let's look at Steady AI. So Steady AI is good for fixing jittery video. I've got this one video clip. We play it in Pop Player. We can see how jittery the video is and the camera's moving all over the place. So with Steady AI, when we bring in a clip, we can select a preset such as Best Ability, which is what I always use. Fastest, which will process fast, but not be as good as Best Ability. There's Balance, which sits between Fastest and Best Ability and Mini Crop. Then there's Sat Mode, which you can use to use one-way stabilizer or two-way stabilizer. Now for some examples. Let's talk about some of the pros and cons. So while this program gives you instant previews when you click on the timeline, it doesn't provide a way to give you a preview in seconds so that you can actually see what the video will look like in playback. It appears the only way to see the results is to export the entire video or the portion of the clip that you want to see with the AI model supplied. There's very limited models with very little customization that you can apply to them. The only options for exporting codecs are H.264 and H.265 ATVC. There's no support for AV1, but that's pretty much it for the cons. This application produces really nice results. It's super easy to use. And my favorite is lightweight compared to other AI video upscalers. The only thing it's going to hit really is the GPU. I also like the pricing model. You can try it out for free with limitations. You can pay a subscription to get, or you can pay for a lifetime one PC license. We only touched on three things in this suite of applications. And I think the money is well worth it if you decide to go for a lifetime license. That's a quick look at VideoProc Converter AI. Check it out. Thank <laughs> you.